What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another draft video. I actually want to take the 4 triple 2 because I want to try the formation. I might switch to it in Ultimate Team. Uh, welcome back. We have got Galazzo still here. Team 2 will be here in a couple of days and so I'm looking forward to playing with some of those cards as well. But for today, we're going to try and build an awesome Galazzo draft. Galazzo. Galazzo. Apparently the way I say it triggers people, so unlucky for you guys, I suppose. Well, and that's unlucky for me, isn't it? Um, and use this 4 triple 2 to see if it's going to be any good and for me to be able to use it in a regular ultimate team. Ooh. We have got foot birthday. Sorry, ultimate birthday. Thierry Henry. Top pace, top shooting, top dribbling, good physicals, great play styles, finesse shot plus. And of course, the basic chem style is actually very, very handy. I know Van Persie was there, by the way, guys. I saw him. He's terrible. I played with him already. Um, he's he's not very good. I haven't, however, played with this Thierry Henry, which I'm excited to do so. So we're going to be using him. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. And with that, let's get our first cam. Pele would be nice. Well, not that Pele. I actually might take the Abedi Pele. Four-star, four-star on Van Basten. And also play striker. Has ping pass plus, which I think is really nice. Or Abedi Pele. Got long ball and incisive pass. Quick step plus with rapid. Acrobatic. Four-star, four-star as well. Artist chem style, which would be good for that passing and dribbling. Yeah, let me take, uh, let me take Abedi Pele here. And for our cam number two... We've got Pele and Pele. That's what I'm saying, man. What a draft this is turning out to be. I thought after Callum Wilson showed up, we was going to be in all sorts of trouble. But no. We have got the CDM Mirish Lab Closer. Now, this one's a weird one for me because medium high is nice. All-star weak foot is nice. Um, pace is good. He's got a maestro, which doesn't help. He's got 88 defending with 65 defensive awareness. And I don't know if you guys know or not, but defensive awareness is actually a really important stat in the way players defend. But I'm going to take him anyway because he is an icon. I think Emre Chan in there for those German, German links. All right, yeah, come on. Give me some Golazo cards. We've got Saucy Pedro with Whip Pass Plus. Four-star, four-star. On a Hunter. Good play styles. Or we've got Loud Drop. With Whip Pass Plus. Also on a Hunter. Less physical than Pedro Porro. Less defending. Less dribbling. Less shooting. Less passing. Less pace. Just less of a man, isn't he? Just less of a man. We will take Saucy Pedro in there. We will take Team of the Year Bright in there. Oh, this draft's actually like... A little bit cracked. I might take Danilo here because of the Brazilian link with Pele. He's got a shadow chem style as well. Six foot tall, medium high work rates, four star weak foot, anticipate and intercept plus, which is really nice. I would have taken Upa Meccano if he had a shadow instead of a catalyst. Doesn't quite have the play styles of Danilo though. So we'll put Danilo in at centre back. And at left back, I'm happy with this Emerson. Another whip pass plus. We've got two whip pass plus. Players at fullback, which is fantastic. We've got an absolutely atrocious goalkeeper. We need to improve Callum Wilson, Emre Chan, and uh, and Danilo. Otherwise, this team is pretty legit. I'll pick the goalkeeper last. Never know. That's what I'm saying, man. It, it's, it's a shame for Saucy Pedro. But Golazo Cafu is there. We can actually sub on Pedro Porro in at DM. It, like, I might even start him because his subbing is the same, you know, same chemistry anyway. Um, Eder Militao is a cracking option, but with a hunter, he has still got very good defending. Zambrotta. Good play Zambrotta at left back. It's a shame he hasn't got a centre back really, isn't it? 
I'm going to take Zambrotta. It's a shame, though, because I, like, I would like to improve Danilo. In fact, again, it's like Pedro or Zambrotta at centre-back, just off chem, are probably going to be better than what we've got. Let's get ourselves a big goalkeeper now, please, EA. An icon would be nice. No icon there. We shall take Providell. The Italian links are going to be good for him. Two more picks on the bench. Ruler, he was nice. Already got cams, but I could put him at cam and Pele at striker. Or Rinders at DM. Five star, four star, six foot one. Very good stats. Very good play styles. I think the likelihood is we will get a better opportunity to put a camel striker in than Gula. We might not get a better opportunity to put a DM in compared to Rinders. So we'll start him in there. There we go. We can either take this Francescoli. I, I quite enjoy the way he looks. I haven't actually played with him, I don't think. But four star, four star with acrobatic plus, power shot plus. It's nice. We could take Eusebio. We all know how good he is. Very good. We could take Rude Hullet, which would make sense because of the whip pass players that we've got in the game and the uh, long ball pass plus players as well. But he's obviously got a better card in the game. Can't play DM. I'm going to take the Galazzo Francescoli here, guys. The whole point of this draft was to play with the Galazzo players, Golasso players, and so we're going to take Francescoli. We get Delict. That is all Gavardia. Ooh, this Delict just looks too, too tidy. Too tidy. This draft overall is absolutely banging. There is not a single player that is a problem. Take Bailey with ping pass plus the bench. Might not be the highest rate draft or anything, but in terms of the actual personnel. Okay, I have to say that might spell the end for Francesco Lee. Because that's mad. At least I've still got Golazo Cafu in here. <clears throat> Raspadori, Dybala. I'll take Raspadori. I'm, I'm half expecting to get a high-rated version of Lionel Messi in this last pick. <clears throat> I didn't. Um, that's a hell of a draft. That's a hell of a draft. Some absolute elite-tier players. What do we need for chemistry? We need England. We don't have England. That is an absolutely banging draft. But does it play well? Let's find out. All right. Our opponent has also got an absolutely banging draft. Well, let's go. Oh, Rinders. What a goal from Rinders. That is lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. The old ball roll scoop, baby. Come on. So, bit of space in the box there. Mate, Van Dyke. Van Dyke is the oracle in this game, isn't he? It's a joke. No foul, ref. Man, I had two two players in the box there, and you only had Van Dyke covering both players. I thought it was a thirty goal when I chipped that ball into Pele. That could be a goal. Unbelievable. Let's go, Miroslav. Oh, that's poor. That's poor. I've let him in there. All because of one misstep. All because of one misstep with uh, with Cafu. Well done, Cafu, pal. Yeah, move your keeper, pal. Move your keeper. Surprise, surprise. Van Dyke's there again. LA, let's go, baby. Hmm. Listen, I've pre thank you. I've pressed shoot first, literally first time there. 
and I have not got a shot or a goal. Like, and it, the, the crazy thing is, right, Rick, this is one of the things that frustrates literally everybody about this game, right? I should have just scored, right? I passed it square to, I think it was Rinders. I pressed shoot with Rinders into an open goal and he took a touch before shooting. So I'm now frustrated because I didn't get the very obvious, very easy goal that I should have had. Then he gets a tackle in and the keeper fumbles it back out to a Betty Pele where I tap the ball in. So now he's frustrated because he's like, oh my God, this guy's like, you know, getting gifted goals, even though it should have just been a goal in the first place. And so both of us are coming away from that exchange thinking that the game is like a piece of crap. And nobody's happy. Whereas if I just scored the goal originally, if the game just registered my uh, my input originally and I scored, he would be frustrated because he's garbage at the game. I would be happy because I'm smoking him. And we'd all be getting on with our day. Now that he can be upset about because his keepers parried it straight out to Pele. Yeah, we're going to score a cutback. Yeah, we're going to score a cutback. And then we're going to gritty. Then we're going to gritty. They're the things that we do. Hmm? They're the things that we do. I date to be this guy. I date to be this guy. This is like the worst performance for him, isn't it? He's sitting there thinking, well, at least it's not 8 2. Bang. <sighs> we're up against Adiola. What a, what a back line that is. Holland up front. Xabi Alonso, uh, Golasso. Okay, that's a nice draft. I enjoyed the uh, the first round there. Obviously, it's nicer when you're winning. Um, but the team actually felt nice. The only player I wasn't really overly keen on was actually a Betty Pele. Other than that, everybody else was uh, was quite, quite good to play with. Quite nice. I was very, very impressed, actually, with uh, this man that I'm controlling. Not now, but... This man right here. The Ligt seems to be incredibly, incredibly good. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Thierry Henry makes it one. Oh. What, what a ball. Oh, oh, what a goal. Oh, I'd be fuming. I'd be fuming. Yeah, that's three. That's three. Well, oh, it feels good. It feels great. Oh, my days. What an absolute bang from Thierry Henry. Look at that. That is a free kick and a half. What an absolute bang. Look how far out that is, man. I didn't actually think it was going to go in. Oh, that is an ins... Look at the way he strikes the ball, actually. That is an insane free kick. Into the semi-finals. And this player has got... Andesar, Renard Team of the Year, and Collet. Frimpong Team of the Year. That's a nice draft. I would be very surprised if he doesn't make a sub pretty quickly. That's delightful, isn't it? That's delightful, isn't it? Thierry Henry makes it one. Nice, Pele. That's nice. 2 0. Come on. Okay. Genuinely, what can you do? Cracking tackle from Bright there. Pass as well. Nice. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. A little bit of direct dribbling down the line there. That player lock thing that I've been doing. Up you go. Alright, remember Nepenthes, he will not move his keeper. He will not move his keeper. Easy goals. Easy goals. GG's. GG's. This guy absolutely capitulated, didn't he, at 4 1? Kind of fully lost composure. He was a, a very frustrating player to play against in the first half as well. All the possession he had. It, it was pointless possession, but sometimes that's all we need, isn't it? Like, 
sometimes that's all that does people is like you part a few passes you get someone frustrated they they pull a defender or a midfielder out of position create create a gap and that's how you get your chance what a tackle hey ggs ggs he's to that guy hey i'd be very very interested to see how much possession he had 54 percent 146 passes but only three shots and he scored such a cheese goal as well into the final we go what are we up against oh my days all right that is the best draft we've come up against so far this draft obviously it's the last draft we're facing as well that is a oh don't like this camera angle that is a very 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 nice team he's got i, I, I genuinely can't like I can't, I can't play with this camera angle. I know it sounds like a mad excuse, but I, I, I don't know what my players are doing. Well, a joy to watch. Usually people just keep the um, the default foot champ stadium. He's going to get a corner out of that as well. God damn it. Yeah, usually people just keep the foot champs default stadium. But if you change stadium, some of them just have these like literally this, these like weird, weird camera angles. Fair enough. That seems good. Yeah. Surprise, surprise, guys. Surprise, surprise. Hey, Providell. Oh, he's been given a pen. Give over, EA. He even died the right way. God damn it. Hey, this guy's just getting gifted the ball. He, he is very, very, very good. It, this is a sort of game where I might as well back out. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not good enough to win this game. Like, even if I get one or two back, this is just going to be a game full of absolute pain. Like, this guy's obviously got custom tactics set up which i i don't have which is my you know my my fault my my choice of course um and he's just getting all the luck as well which is mad yeah i i, I think i think it is a stream sniper guys i think it is a stream sniper but i'm just gonna leave this one we're five nil down in 28 minutes even if i score some goals not gonna get back into that one and I'm not going to ruin my day by getting frustrated by somebody playing like that. So we'll see what we get for our rewards. A gold players pack and a premium gold players pack. Not the best rewards, I can't lie. Um, but hopefully we get one of the Golasso players in here. Or even just a walkout would be nice. Declan Rice. Okay, it's still an 85, isn't it? It is very nice. So an 85 rated card. I know they're not like crazy, crazy coins, are they? But still about four and a half. Jeez, are they that low? Four and a half, five K. That is that is low. But based on that and all of the cards that we get, we will make profit off of this draft. And in general, that draft was nice. That Thierry on recard is absolutely banging. Um, absolutely banging. Let's see what we get out of this one. No special card here. German centre back. Off and high. Oh dear. Oh dear. So unfortunately. We will make profit, as I say, just because of the sheer volume of cards, but nothing special out of rewards. Guys, that is going to be the end of the draft for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, peace.